Really quickly, let me show you how this hack is going to work. We're going to make use of a feature that is turned on um, all the way back to early versions of Windows like Windows XP, Windows 2000, all the way to the brand new 7.8, Windows 10, Windows 10.1. You'll be able to use this uh, feature to, to break into a computer once you see how to do these uh, few steps. But let me show you, uh, first of all, the concept. So if I'm on, just notice I'm on a Windows PC here. All I'm going to do is press the Shift key five or six times. One, two, three, four, five. And you see something comes up called the Sticky Keys Assistant. Uh, this used to be the Handicap Accessibility or the Set High Contrast. Uh, there have been lots of names of it for this over the years from Windows XP all the way up through the newest Windows 10. But this is giving us the sticky keys option. If you press the shift key five or ten times, you'll be able to uh, get a pop-up window just like this one. This is a file that runs whenever someone hits the shift key repeatedly. The keyboard shortcut you can see here to turn on sticky keys is to press it five times. And this gives us the ability to uh, make the shift, control, and alt keys sticky. So if you have limited mobility in your hands or you only have one hand free while you're doing something, um, or you have any ab uh, ability that requires you to use uh, the shift and then press a key or control, then press a key, alt, then press a key. If you can't hold both down together, then you can turn on sticky keys. And it's a handy feature and it's built into just about every version of Windows that exists. So uh, we're going to use this. I'm running this on a Windows 7 box, but it works great on Windows 10 as well. And we're going to use this to get a backdoor into the computer so that we can add an administrative user. The cool thing to know about this is it even works from the login screen. So if I log out and come to the login screen, I can hold down the shift key five times from here. And this is the key that makes the sticky keys attack so powerful is that we can cause a, a window, cause a program to run before we've even logged into the computer. So if you have an old desktop computer, an old laptop computer that's running Windows that you need to get into, but you don't remember the password, here's how we're going to do it. We'll see that coming up in the next lesson.